Welcome to Digital Flash Fire. I'm Dan. You're you. We're watching World Warships. Let's blow things up. Today we are looking at the Tier 5 Omaha. This is a U.S. light cruiser. Um, it is just a, another of the floating gunboats that the U.S. like to have. Uh, at Tier 5 it matches up against the Imperial Japanese Navy Furutaka, which is not as much of a ship as it is maligned to be but it isn't a match for the Omaha the Omaha is a superb ship it does wonderful damage it has a lot of speed and maneuverability and it projects well it doesn't suffer from having guns that cannot be used to hit multiple targets you can shift targets very easily you can maneuver and maintain your fire because everything traverses very quickly. Now here you will see I'm engaging actually an enemy Furutaka and pretty much having it my way. I've already knocked him down a couple thousand hit points. I'm going to circle away and this is something the Furutaka simply cannot do. I'm engaging him while turning. He can either turn or shoot. So I'm just gonna lay guns on target and blaze away. And just as he drops out, boom, Citadel hit. Big damage. Now, I'm going to keep circling. Um, by the way, if, you wanna, if you're ever bored with me, check out chat. Dalarost is hilarious. He's going on my friends list as soon as I get back on the server. Now I'm getting shot at again. You'll see I've already knocked him down over 6,000, well, just over 7,000 hit points. And he hits me, and his HE does over a thousand damage. So that that's the difference between six inch and eight inch guns. Now you'll notice the other team is keeping it pretty cagey. They are mostly clustering. They're staying grouped together, and I'm skirmishing out in front. Part of the reason I'm doing that is I'm very impulsive. The rest of the reason is that's what this cruiser does. It's small enough. It is fast enough. And it's agile enough that I'm just scoring hit after hit after hit after hit after hit on these guys without taking much in return. I've only taken one hit. I've taken a little over a thousand damage. I've scored 17 hits, including a Citadel. I've put this guy on fire, and now I've bought time for the cavalry to arrive. Now this guy is facing a Miyogi, a Chikuma, a Kawachi, a Kuma and the Wyoming. So I'm gonna keep firing and you know do some more landscaping because that's what I do. And boom, he's finished off by Dalarast. Over the island, because that's how he rolls. Now I'm good now I see the Lemming train and I'm gonna to move to support the flanks because I know there are enemy ships that are not on this side. I'm going to engage this guy because why not score free damage on a New York? Top tier enemy cruiser. Let's do some damage. Set him on fire, score a couple of hits, and look to my left. There's a Phoenix. There's an Omaha. And I set him on fire again. I'm going to get a lot of damage on that New York, by the way. Now about this time, the Phoenix teaches me an important lesson in situational awareness. Boom. 2,000 damage. Throw some torpedoes out there just in case he maneuvers. Switch back to AP because I was firing HE at battleships. And start throwing, start throwing those shells at. I want to get this guy down before he can make it around the headlands. So I'm turning so that guns on both sides of my ship can engage him. My torpedoes are going to miss, I already know that, but he hasn't spotted them yet, so I may be, they may force him to turn if he's tunneling on me, if he's in his uh, sniper view. Keep firing, keep taking damage, unfortunately. When you're facing a tier 5 and tier 4 that are virtually the same thing you're in, well, it's going to be painful. And I've lost a ton of health. Now I switch targets to the Omaha. 
and I'm on fire and I put the fire out. I'm scoring a lot of crits on this guy. I'm doing a lot of damage. Put out some more. And you'll see, I mean, 2,500 damage right there. You really want to be firing AP at enemy cruisers. It gives you a chance to do a lot more damage. And we're going to speed things up a little here. And as he gets ready to come around the corner, I'm getting ready for him to come around the corner. Four kilometers. And I can see him. And I can shoot him. And I get just a terrible opening broadside. Turn a little bit to put some torpedoes into him. Switch back to guns. Taking a couple of seconds to get some torpedoes out there, never a bad thing. 3,400 damage from another Citadel. Not that it matters, because the three torpedoes were going to tear him apart anyway. There's that Phoenix, and he's not going to last very long. Dalarast is getting ready to cancel his birthday. Oh, looks got him. Some torpedoes going at me, because people are terrible. I'm just going to slip by them and focus on the Clemson. I finally got a kill. 74 hits. I've got one kill. The Clemson over there is just getting, sneaking around. Boom. Start hitting him. Once you get on, once you start hitting these guys, it makes a big difference. And you'll see 1,100 damage, 2,200 damage, and put him out. And now we have a problem. I've run out of targets. So, thanks to the magic of the film industry, we're going to skip ahead a little bit. I'm going to sprint down. Now our team, I'm going to drop back just a little bit. Our team engages down here. And they do a very good job of it. But at this point, we definitely have a big advantage. Their carriers are American carriers, and they have heavy fighter loadouts, so they can only project so much firepower. We, on the other hand, have a Japanese carrier left. We also have a very skilled battleship player, a couple of skilled cruiser players, and me, and I'm hot. And again, chat is great. I've got these, I'm joking about putting sails on this thing. The battleships are joking about getting all the slaves rolling. Sorry, I know that's insensitive, but when you're in a galley like those things, I'm wishing I had speed boost in this thing because it really does play like a destroyer. And sometimes you think the speed boost would be a lot more useful than a friggin' scout plane. And uh, Dalaraz is telling me, hold down the shift button, you'll run. Seriously, that guy, that guy made this game much more entertaining than it would have been otherwise. So, oh, and I've shot down an airplane at some point. I don't even remember when. That's just one of those extra, hey, make a good game better things. I'm just saying, you know, I've been chasing these guys all over. They're in the 910 line. Gonna have issues. Nope. Actually, I'm going to try out free camera. Let's take a look at the scenery. So this carrier here is the Langley. The other one is also Langley. You'll see I just picked up the Confederate medal. And look at that. Reverse angle back from where I'm at. Look at that baby burn. And it just shot down a whole squadron of torpedo bombers. He actually might have been trying to get rid of those so he could launch more faster. It didn't work. I scored a couple of heavy hits on him, over a thousand damage there, another 700 there. He is heavily on fire. He's getting chased down. And the battleships have spotted me. <laughs> Boom. And now, 
Here's the enemy team. More gunfire. The other Langley is running for his life. He isn't going to last more than a few seconds at this point. Boom. Look at that. Sinks fast. Now at this point, it is all over but the crying. I'm going to switch back to my view. The, the short and simple of it is they smash me. Two battleships against one heavily damaged. Uh, Omaha was not necessarily a fair fight. Um, they did sink the, uh, the one battleship very quickly, but the other one... The other one handled me rather roughly, as you just saw. Now, as for stats, a game like this, where you just have a monstrous game, sink four enemy ships, score 136 hits, you get rewarded. 304,000 credits, 4,338 experience, and 217 free experience. The... I, believe it or not, I got top experience on my team. I got four kills, uh, shot down seven planes, got 1,900 total damage. Uh, the next guy on the team was the Miyogi, who got 1,000 experience. Sorry, 1,900 total experience. The highest experience earner on their team got 797. 21,952 damage with a AP. 52,697 with HE almost 19,000 damage with fires, and one torpedo hit for 3,000 damage. I sank a Clemson, two Langley's, and another Omaha. The, I, I spent 18 minutes in the battle, just a monstrous game. And that's what this ship can do. You skirmish early, you look for the opening, you look for enemies you can get a good position on, and you don't let up. Keep the guns firing. All right, folks, for Digital Flash Fire, this is Dan. Thank you very much, and you have a wonderful week.